you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you really have to look at this, look at this. I made something and I found out about this, this amazing, uh, plugin that allows you to change like the settings of certain kind of mobs. And look, you guys, I created something. Garden nightmare. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> they even talk while they're fighting. I will make you see the light. Are you still trying, human? Are you still trying, you? Oh, wait. That's that's a mistake. <laughs> a guardian of the galaxy wouldn't say something like that. And then, you shall die. <laughs> I can even make them, like, spawn in certain kind of different mobs. Like, some kind of weird boss. And if I learn how to code this a little bit more, because I'm just, I'm just a beginner. I can actually make it so they can, like, uh, make other 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 mobs turn into fire or maybe players or maybe have like a firebolt around them for like a couple of seconds and then scream like a kamehameha or something and then have a fire beam going <laughs> going that way attacking every single mob standing on that light i don't know i can do everything and i'm still learning how to use this but i'll be showcasing this plug into and how to use it to in a different video so let's go further to the different video. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to kill me, but you're not strong enough. And so I'm too sexy for my love. Oh, he's gonna uh, I'm too OP. I'm too OP for that. Hey there, Skirnoob yet again back with a new video. And if I can ask you guys to come a little bit closer, just like this. Yes, that's so beautiful. You guys, today I made this beautiful sword. And if I switch on and switch back, you will see that this sword is named Noob. Noob's Vengeance. <laughs> I wanted to say Noob Vengeance, but that didn't really sound good. So Noob's Vengeance has a 10,000 attack damage. This thing is like very, very powerful. But I'm going to try and make a custom resource pack. So this thing actually is going to like look amazing. But this is not going to be the strongest sword that I have on the server. I have lots and lots of ideas to make different kind of weapons for different kind of uses for to kill different kind of mobs. But that's not why you guys are here today. You guys are here today because the link to this video said that I was going to explain how the Multiverse Portal plug plugin <laughs> works. I don't know why I said plugin, plug, 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 I don't know, I don't know. Let's just jump right into it. So if you don't know what the plugin does, it allows you to create portals to travel to a spot inside your world or to a spot inside a different world. Wow, rocket science. So, <laughs> to use this plugin, you will need Multiverse Core. And that's actually the only thing that you need. You can, you can download the World Edit plugin, but this plugin actually works without the World Edit. You have the MVP wand command, and it will give you a wand, but it doesn't do all the things that World Edit commands do, so you cannot um start changing blocks and stuff you can just select a region with the mvp wand so you guys <laughs> to create a portal you walk up to something something that you want to make a portal like this thing this this is a simple portal but you can even make the portal as big as this whole thing and if you make it like this if i walk to this space the the region that you choose is the space that will teleport you so let us do this boom and when you select the region you do mvp create and then you choose a name it doesn't really matter what kind of name but for the sake of the video i'm just going to call it portal one and as you can see new portal created and selected remember the fact that it's selected so this one is now selected you can teleport to another portal but you can even teleport to another space see do you see that beautiful block there there's a reason why it's here <laughs> so as you already know you guys we created a portal right there 
and you can make it so you teleport to this block with this command you do slash mvp modify modify this denation sorry my english is not <laughs> the best and here boom as you if you walk to this portal now boom you will be standing on this block amazing beautiful but for me it's kind of useless well actually actually if i make a dungeon you can make it so uh you have a you have a one way to go somewhere like inside a dungeon so like poof and now you're in inside a giant room and then there can be sp a, a, a giant mob that spawns there and then you have to kill it and you have no way back but with command blocks you can actually close the door behind you so i don't actually yeah doesn't matter doesn't matter you can use it forever for anything you want so you can <laughs> now i'm going to go and select a second portal so let's say you want to make it so that if you walk into this portal you come out of this portal so let's select the region again and use the command mvp create portal name i'm gonna call it portal 2. so as you can see this portal is now created and selected remember this part it's selected so now that's this one is selected we will do mvp modify well actually i actually did the command once i'm going to show you guys the shortcut of it so mvpm dest this is the only thing this is like a shortcut for what you can write to use the uh, command in a faster way i guess <laughs> and then you will do p because you are going to send to a portal I don't know how to call those double points. <laughs> I guess it's called double points. <laughs> and then you choose the portal name. So portal one, boom. And if you walk to this portal, you will come out of this white portal. Just note that if you make a portal, it doesn't matter where, if you go through it, it will teleport you into where you look when you're facing south. You will always be facing south. To change this, you can behind this uh, behind this command you do another double points and then you can choose north south west or east and then if you go to the portal you will be you will be facing a different direction to show you how to do this i'm going to change the destination from this white one because now if you walk to this portal we will be standing on this block you will have to select the portal itself. So MVP, sorry, select and then portal one. As you can see, portal one has been selected. Then what you do, boom, boom, MVP destination. If you don't know how to do this, what I'm doing, you just, uh, when you go into the chat, you press the shift button and you go up down and you can it's like a backup of all the commands that you use and if you go up and down you can change it so now that you selected portal one you will choose the destination where it goes so mvp modified destination portal two so portal two and if you go to this portal we will come out i was a little bit confused <laughs> we will come out of this portal as you can see so if you go to the white portal at first i made them both white and then i was confused because i went to the portal i was like did i go to the portal or didn't i <laughs> but as you can see you will come out and you will be facing south like i said so let's change that you guys i want it so that if i walk to this portal i will be facing back to the white portal again because uh why not <laughs> so we take that portal command again b double points b2 and if we look that way it will be north so let's go back double points north boom if i go to this portal 
you will be facing this portal. If you go to this portal, you will be facing this portal. So actually we could just like uh, keep on running, <laughs> but I don't see the use of that. You can make it, change it any way you want, you guys. I hope it's 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 clear enough for you. If it isn't clear, you guys, just let me know. I will make it as clear as I can in the comments below. But let's go into making portals going to an other world. So <laughs> you actually have to do the same thing, but this time uh, the the command is just a little bit different. So you select the region of the portal like this one, boom, boom, and you make a new portal. MVP create, let's say, uh, um, portal three. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out of portal three, and po and then I'm going to spawn. Six and a half hours later. Life with an awesome computer. <clears throat> and let us just uh, use this as the portal. Uh, I'm just going to use boom, boom as a portal. Create portal four. And now this one is selected. So let's make it that if we are going to portal from from portal four to portal three so boom three doesn't matter where it, it faces we will still have to select to choose that boom and if we walk to this thing right now we will be sent to the other world and hopefully <laughs> through the portal <laughs> i'm not sure yet and as you can see we are facing south you can change this into Let's do that again into West. So only thing that we have to do is double points and then who is it West? Yes, it was West. So now if we go to the other portal, we will be facing West. If you don't believe me, let's make it so that if we go to this portal, we will go back to the other one. Like as you can see, it doesn't work right now, but we are going to make it work. So first remember, MVP select because we have to select this portal select portal 3 now this one is selected and we going back portal 4 boom MVP modified destination portal portal 4 and it's going to, to face the west but I, I'm just going to do portal 4 for now oh and I had to type in maybe it was like a good IT to actually do that <laughs> property destination of portal 3 was sent to portal 4 boom if we walk through it sorry that was my neck <laughs> we will be facing hmm? which side is it south as I said, and we wanted to face. Oh my god, I'm to the portal. Amazing. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And <laughs> we wanted to face east. So the only thing that we have to change is double point and then east. Boom. If we go to the portal now, we will be facing the right way. As you can see. Now we just wait boom 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 if you walked to this portal oh what did it do a screenshot if i walk to this portal it will send me to the black portal if i go to the white portal it sent me to the white portal and if i went to the green portal it's three it will send me to the fourth one and we will be facing into spawn if you want to change that you can change that going the other way by saying changing it to a small uh, capitalized we a w i said we <laughs> a w and actually i think that's all for it you guys if you didn't understand again you guys let me know i will be happy to explain everything you need to know to do this you guys i'm very excited about this weapon custom custom weapon thingy plugin 
It's actually Medical Mobs. That's what it's called. It's a beautiful plugin. It was a little bit of struggle because they, they, they have a few tutorials explaining how to do it. But few of those things weren't like explained good enough. So I'll be trying my best to show you guys how to use it. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Love you guys. So, because your boy Skurnoop isn't really that smart, <laughs> he forgot two more commands. One of them is MVP list. That's the command. Um, if you have a lot of portals, it's kind of handy to have a list to look at all the portals that you have. So, MV, MVP list right there. And then you can see all the portals that are inside of this world. I still have to remove that portal too though. So, and the other one is if you want to have a portal that directly goes to a other world, to the spawn of the other world. So that one is MVP modify. So MVP M destination. And then instead of a P, you set a W like this and then after that you will say the world name and it will send you to the world name. you don't have to do the brackets so just uh, like let's say your world is a uh, lobby or hub just like this and every time you go to that portal you will be sent to the spawn of that world so I hope you enjoyed this video and of course don't forget to like and subscribe and have an amazing day.